Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. If you are searching for a different browser other than Edge and you pretty much had Google Chrome and Firefox and you're still not a big fan of them, then say no more. On this video, we're going to be showing you how to download and install a browser called Opera. Opera is a pretty good system out there. Many people do like to use it. I am a somewhat person about it. I used to like the old version until like the companies of the founders of it kind of left. But regardless, this is a good system and I think they also have a different version, kind of like a gaming version. So we'll probably make another video on that for you. But let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty much open up a browser that you currently have. I have pretty much the Microsoft Edge. And we're going to go to the search on the top and we're going to type in opera.com. I think it's actually .org, but okay, it's .com. Just making sure if I didn't make a mistake. This comes up like every other site that we see cookies and press allow cookies. And we pretty much come straight directly to the site right here. You can select stuff to download. There's all different versions, but the one that we're pretty much going to be doing right now is pretty much the basic standard one for Opera. I'll go ahead and select download Opera. And it'll take a little second for it. And download the files. And pretty much when it's done down, you can pretty much just open the file or you can open the folder that you have it stored it and then open the file also it doesn't really matter go ahead and just select it and you might be prompted let's see what comes up oh i did not have to I'll probably be prompted in a bit so right now i can pretty much just x out the browser i really don't need this and it tells us there's a built-in blocker free vpn easy customization extensions and built-in messengers that's just the features it says regardless we're going to go ahead and press accept and install it tells us if you want to help opera better if you want to configure settings I'm going to go ahead and select configure settings because you want to enable these features stuff like general interest based on your websites you may visit or search. This is all stuff that you can do on here if you want to use the data. Personalized context adds personalized based on the interest. I guess it's all based if you want to. I'm going to leave this as is. This doesn't really, doesn't really matter for me. This is kind of like a virtual computer on this tutorial that I'm making for you. But I'm going to go ahead and press confirm choices and it's based on you what you want to do. So right now it says it's installing for the current user admin i guess that's the current user i have on this system right now and it's giving us a little time and <laughs> the icons already pretty much came up already it's, it seems it's probably already installed before it's even finished so the browser pretty much already came up and it says it's installing the current user still isn't that crazy that the system's already loaded up and somehow it's installing okay there it goes it finally exit out thank god that make no sense right if the system's still there not sure if it's going to come up again until it's completed, but we do notice that the Opera is pretty much installed here. It tells us if you want to turn on synchronization, I guess that would be with your account that you want to do. And we pretty much have it set on here. Now, if you decide and you don't want um, your pretty much the Microsoft Edge, I can pretty much show you real quick how you can change the default settings for that. Let me show you real quick. Then if I'm correct, you will just go to start and select settings. And then from there, we will go to applications. Where are we at? I am probably blanked. Oh, we are in apps. I'm going to choose default apps. And then as we go to here, we're going to look for Opera. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Opera stable is what it shows. And it seems I already did set it up kind of the default, so I didn't really have to do too much. So you're pretty much good. If not, you'll choose the ones that you pretty much shows to Google Chrome or let's say Edge or Firefox. You'll just change these ones and you should be pretty much good. And that's all you have to do. I, I think if you pretty much set where it says make Opera your default browser, you can probably just set that and that will pretty much do the work for you. Or if not, you can go to individual and select them. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Thanks everyone for watching this video and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.